Okay, so the next section is standing up. And this is, a, a, I believe, a highly underutilized uh, skill development that a lot of people don't use for a variety of reasons, and I mentioned it uh, earlier. We're just gonna focus on two, backwards and forwards. So I have Ozzy in my butterfly guard, and it's a good butterfly guard, right? I got my postures and everything. I need, I may need to get the ball rolling a little bit, okay? So I have my head in, I'm going to hold him, and then push him away to stand up, okay? So I'm getting the momentum going, I'm gonna throw him backwards, and then back out, stand up. Now, I might not want to stand up because uh, I'm worried about getting taken down, okay? So what you can do, you have your position, you pull in, you kick out, and you go up, you start to drive and cut through, okay? So you can get right through that knee. So again, sometimes you get a big guy that's good at just hunkering down, okay? Try to pull forward, kick him back. You Once you're here, Get that, the arm, drive with your head, and cut with your knee right through to his guard. Go a little bit faster on this one. A little more space. Okay, so here. Right through. The other one is a frame. Maybe the guy's got a really good posture and he's sitting there, so he's hunkering down. This type of kid gets to be some of the big guys. So you can go here, or if you have the gi, almost like a massive pole, okay? safety stand up. Again, you can drive through, or you saw it, he wants to grab that leg, he goes to grab that leg, you can sprawl, break his grip, and come around to his back. So both of these are useful. So it's the idea of I'm standing, but not necessarily stand to let him stand. I'm standing to give an opportunity to pass his guard to take his back. So, on that last one again, maybe he's working his hands, his underhooks inside. There, I have a frame on the shoulder this time. Hand to the floor, toes back out. Maybe I'm out for me for self-defense, or if he starts to chase me, which a lot of guys do, can sprawl and start looking to take the back. Or if he stays in that kind of position here, he might be able to knock him backwards. Most times, if you get away, they'll fill that void, okay? So which gives you an opportunity to push their head down and take their back. If you knock them backwards, they'll extend their base, which gives you an opportunity to send their weight backwards over their heel, so you can pass that guard, okay? So, which I know it's not really a guard, they're on their knees, but you're, you get what the idea is. You're passing the ability for them to get a guard.